Hey, what's up guys? Okay, this is an exciting day. What I got here is, what do you think this is? It's a surprise, my friends. Let's see what came in the mail today. Antminer L3 Bitmain Bitmain sent me an L Miner L3 to test out. Isn't that nice of them? What a nice company. Since I have so many subscribers and so many views, they sent me a machine to test and review for you guys. So we're gonna review the L3 504 Mega Hash. how this comes in here. I'm just kidding guys. I bought this um, months ago. It just got here today so I'm super stoked. It was not a demo unit from Bitmain. I wish I would have had this months ago. This is the beauty. Look at that. Beautiful thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful piece of machine right here. Ant Miner L3 Plus. So we're gonna hook this up. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, configure it, and start mining some Litecoin. Okay, we're going to a top secret location top secret mining location. You put the miner down. We got codes. And this is where we'll be setting the, the miner up. So, I'm going to put it right here and clear this gas. Uh, for these miners, I'm using a 220 power supply, and when you use the 220 power supplies, you need one of these special cords. Let me get one off of here and I will show you. Look at the end of this. See how it's special plug? So you need those if you get one of these power supplies from Bitmain. It's a normal end. It's got the normal end like a normal computer power plug, but this plug is the 220. And that's what it looks like. So make sure you get one of those if you get one of these power supplies. Okay guys. See if we can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna set this up in here. Bitmage says check for any loose heat sinks. These are all the heat sinks that are on each chip. So maybe in delivery, some heat sinks might have fell off. These look all good and it sounds good, so looks fine to start up. Okay. 
you're gonna put one of these on. I got these from Amazon. The stock screws are too short. So what I've been doing, I just use a drywall screw. Actually, these are a little too short. I need to go get a longer drywall screw. Be right back. Okay, I had to saw down some drywall screws. I actually took a hacksaw. Shut it, I cut it down a little bit so it fit. Let's see if this works a little better. So I didn't want it to go too far into the deep seams. I've heard that if you tilt it on its side, it gets, it runs cooler. I'm going to try that. And then I can set the power supply right on the top. Let me show you. I'm going to just take each one of these plugs and plug it into these ports. There's one over here. Everything's plugged in, this is good. Check power, 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 no more plugs. Event, event's good, and go outside. Okay. 
moment of truth. going to go on the computer, pull it up on the network and configure it to the miner and we'll start mining. Let's see the temperature in here, 73, high was 79, it's probably when I had the door open a little bit ago. Okay. So I created a worker. Once you create a worker, you want to go to settings. And this is Litecoin. Edit. And here you want to paste your wallet. You want to copy this URL. Copy that URL and your worker. Just remember your worker name. Ragman or five, then go to Antminer. So it's Antminer. This is the admin page. Go to Miner Configuration. And up here, you just want to change this actually to your to your miner. Brag miner top five. And just do that for each one. Put the, this is the uh, fan speed. I'm going to put that at 80. And we'll see. Save and apply. Waiting for changes to be applied. Okay, it's done. Then you can go to minor status. And currently it's all blank. It just restarted. So let's give it a minute. Okay, here it goes. It's up and running. It's currently 480 mega hash. Um, temperatures, four hashing boards. So each one of these is the temperature. It'd be nice if these stay below 70. Some people say 60, but I'm hoping to have it stay below 70. The fans at 5200. And it's hashing. And there you go. That's how you set up the Antminer L3. Probably took less than 30 minutes in total. Okay, I got a better image here for you. I, can, I wasn't able to screen capture on the other um, computer that I was recording the minor when I set it up. So this one, maybe you'll be able to see a little bit clearer. Um, but this is the earnings so far. There's Give Me Coins. I used to use Give Me Coins for uh, mining as my pool. And they're not bad. I'm going to try Ant Pool this time. So you just go to Antpool and sign up if you want to try them. If you know of another good Litecoin pool, let me know in the comments. But um, if you join Antpool, you just create a worker. Um, you choose the coin you want to mine up here. So you can mine Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. 
Ethereum Classic, Zcash Dash, and Bitcoin Cash through them. So this is the also the company that um, it's Bitmain. So Bitmain is the company that makes the miners. They also have these pools available. So they got a whole little market there going. Anyways, you go there, you sign up, um, create your worker, and go into your um, miner dashboard and configure it. And you got my coin, Litecoin's coming in, 0 0.1 so far. It's pretty awesome. Litecoin's one of my favorite coins, so I'm excited about this this machine. Plus, I've been waiting for months for it. Um, if you have any questions about setting up yours, let me know. Um, if you want to get by your own ant miner, just go to Bitmain. Bitmain.com, and then you can, if you're lucky, you can purchase one directly from the manufacturer. But they are always sold out. Your best bet is to go to Bitmain Twitter. And then they'll tell you when they're going to have another batch available. And it's usually sold out by the time you get there, but good luck. Um, I have a few more of these coming, actually. I was able to order about seven of them. This is my first one I was ordered, and I have a couple. They'll be coming in now probably next week and the weeks after that. I have six more coming. Then I also have the Dash Miner. And I'm going to go through the setup of the Dash Miner. It's not the Bitmain Dash Miner. I actually purchased the Inel Silicon Dash Miner. It's A5 Mash, Dash Master, 38, meg, 38 giga hash. For dash coin so that's going to be really exciting also and it's going to be a good video to put up and i'll show you to set that up it's the first time i've done one of those so it's going to be a learning experience for me too um, i've done these ant miners before and they're really simple and awesome to set up and run that's one good thing about them and i'm hoping the no silicon is going to be the same so we will see about that but that's not going to be here till next month Anyways, uh, have a good night and peace.